Hello and welcome to Mindful Chair Yoga. This is a chair-based yoga practice that emphasizes mindful awareness of body sensations while one engages in gentle postures and stretches that are linked with the breath. Mindful awareness or mindfulness is the process or skill of paying attention to present moment experience with an attitude of curiosity and acceptance. So throughout this practice, you will be cued or instructed to bring a curious and non-judgmental attention to the sensations in your body. Keep in mind that everyone's bodies are different, and it is important to honor your body and its limits. If any movement or posture causes you pain, it is wise to back out of the posture rather than trying to work through the pain. So please feel free to skip any exercise. Now when you are ready, let's begin. Before we start moving and stretching, let's take a moment to calm our minds and settle into our bodies. We can begin by sitting back, letting our body rest and be supported by the back of the chair, but making sure not to slouch. Close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you, and place both of your hands on your belly. Without trying to change your breathing, Begin to notice any sensations of breathing that are present in your belly. What sensations do you notice? Perhaps you feel the subtle and gentle rising and falling of your belly on each in-breath and out-breath. Your hands on your belly may move slightly as your belly balloons in in out. Or maybe you do not feel much at all, and if so, reminding yourself that this is okay. Just note to yourself what your particular experience is. There is no right way to feel here. We are simply taking a moment to become more familiar with our breathing in our belly. Continue watching your breathing in your belly for a few more moments here. Now, when you are ready, open your eyes if they were closed, remove your hands from your belly, and just rest in your chair. Come to the front edge of your seat and establish yourself in a comfortable, sitting position. If you have any lower back pain, you could sit back in your chair, but try to keep your spine upright throughout the practice. Now sit up tall with a straight back, but without being too stiff or rigid. Have your feet flat on the floor, about hips width apart, and have your ankles directly under your knees. We can call this Seated Mountain Pose. This will be our home base pose that we will come back to in between different stretches and movements. Let's try some simple movements in which we coordinate our movement with our breathing. In your Seated Mountain Pose, take a deep breath through your nose and raise both of your arms to the side and then up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, lower both of your arms in front of you bringing your hands together in front of your chest. Let's try this again. Inhale and raise your arms. Exhale and lower your arms in front of you, hands together. Continue this motion at your own pace, raising your arms on the inhale and lowering the arms in front of your chest on the exhale. Go at your own pace. Feel free to close your eyes or keep them open, whatever is most comfortable for you.
try spreading your fingers now as you raise your arms each time. Notice the air flowing between your fingers. Also, feel the sensations of your palms pressed against each other as you lower your hands down. Notice whether your hands are feeling warm, cool, or somewhat clammy or sweaty at this time. Just notice what it's like for you as you continue raising and lowering your arms at your own pace and according to your own breathing. Now, the next time your hands are together in front of your chest, keep them there and just breathe. When you are ready, lower your hands to your lap and rest in seated mountain pose. As you rest here, remember that throughout this practice, it is perfectly normal for your mind to wander and for thoughts and emotions to arise. Each time you become aware of thoughts and emotions, acknowledging them, letting them be, and then gently bringing your attention back to the sensations in your body as you engage in various stretches and postures. Let's try a stretch for the side of our bodies. When you are ready, place your right hand on your right hip. Breathe in and extend your left arm up towards the ceiling. Breathing out and gently stretch to the right by leaning your torso over to the right slightly and also reaching your hand farther to the right. Use your right hand on your hip to support your lower back as you stretch to the side. Find a position that is comfortable for you here. Breathing naturally and notice if you feel any sensations of opening or expansion in the left side of your body anywhere from your hips all the way up to your fingertips. On your next inhale, slowly come out of the side stretch and back to center. And on an exhale, lower your left arm and rest. Let's try the other side. Place your left hand on your left hip Breathing in and extend your right arm up toward the ceiling. Breathing out and gently stretch to the left by leaning your torso over slightly and reaching your hand farther to the left. Remember to use your left hand on your hip to support your lower back as you stretch to the side. Once again, finding a position that is comfortable for you and breathing here with the stretch, feeling into any sensations of opening or expansion in the right side of your body, anywhere from your hips all the way up to your fingertips. Now, on your next inhale, come out of the side stretch and back to center. And on an exhale, lower your left arm and rest in seated mountain pose. This next posture is called Eagle Pose. Begin in Seated Mountain Pose. Cross your right leg over your left leg. Bring your arms straight in front of you, parallel to the floor, with the palms facing upwards. Cross the arms in front of you so that your right arm is above the left. Then, bend your elbows and bring your hands up towards your face. Snug the right elbow into the crook of the left. The back of your hands should be facing each other. In this position, gently raise both of your arms up towards the ceiling until you feel a stretch in your upper back, between your shoulder blades. Breathe naturally and hold this position. Notice how your body feels in this posture. Let the muscles in your face and neck relax as best you can.
When you are ready, gently come out of the posture and back to seated mountain pose. Pause for a moment and take a deep breath in and out. Let's try the other side. Cross your left leg over your right leg in a way that is comfortable for you. Bring your arms straight in front of you, parallel to the floor, with the palms facing upwards. Cross your arms in front of you so that your left arm is above the right. Then bend your elbows and bring your hands up towards your head. Snug the left elbow into the crook of the right. The back of your hands should be facing each other. In this position, gently raise both of your arms up towards the ceiling until you feel a stretch in your upper back between your shoulder blades. Breathe naturally and hold this position. Notice how your body feels in this posture, letting the muscles in your face and neck relax as best you can. And now, gently coming out of the posture and back to seated mountain pose. Pause for a moment and take another deep breath in and out. Notice how you feel overall at this time. Let's try a stretch for our shoulders. Take your right arm and reach it across your body to stretch your right shoulder. Use your other arm to gently hug your right arm into your body to increase the stretch. Keep your right arm relatively straight. Breathe into the stretch in your right shoulder. Now, see if you can gently bring your left palm and your forehead together. Reach your palm towards you and bend your head slightly so that your head rests in your left palm. Be gentle with this and only bring your palm and forehead together if it is comfortable for you. Otherwise, just stay with a regular shoulder stretch. If your forehead and palm are together, bring your attention to the sensations of contact between your hand and your forehead. How does it feel to cradle your forehead like this? What does your forehead feel like? And now, on your next exhale, letting everything go, and rest in seated mountain pose. Let's try the other side. Take your left arm this time and reach it across your body to stretch your left shoulder. Use your other arm to gently hug your left arm into your body to increase the stretch. Keep your left arm relatively straight, and continue stretching here as you breathe into the stretch. Now, like we did before, see if you can bring your right palm and your forehead together. Reach your palm towards you and bend your head slightly so your forehead rests in your right palm. Once again, if this feels too difficult, just continue with the regular shoulder stretch. If your forehead and palm are together, once again bring your attention to the sensations of contact between your hand and your forehead. Being curious and interested in what it really feels like to cradle your forehead in this way. And now, on your next exhale, letting everything down and rest in seated mountain pose. Let's try a simple stretch for our neck. To start, take your right hand and reach over your head to hold on to some area on the left side of your head. Now, using your hand, gently bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Be gentle with your neck and do not force this stretch. Only move as far as what's comfortable for you. Let your shoulders be relaxed as you do this. And hold this neck stretch and breathe naturally. 
Notice how the stretch feels for you, acknowledging any sensations that arise. And on your next exhale, slowly letting everything go and coming back up to seated mountain pose. Let's try the other side. With your left hand this time, reach over your head and hold on to some area on the right side of your head. Now, use your hand to gently bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Hold this position and breathe naturally. Notice how the stretch feels on this side compared to the other side. And once again, acknowledging any sensations that arise, feeling into the stretch. And on your next exhale, letting everything go and resting in seated mountain pose. Let's try a technique in which we coordinate our movement with our breathing. This technique is called cat and cow stretches. It is a good way to warm up the spine. Begin in seated mountain pose and place your hands face down on top of your thighs. Inhale and gently arch your spine as you push your belly and your chest forwards and look up slightly towards the ceiling. As you exhale, round your spine, looking slightly down towards your belly button. Let's try this a few more times. Inhale and arch your spine. Exhale and round your spine. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale and come back to a neutral sitting position. Take a moment to acknowledge any sensations arising in your body after these movements. Let's try the same movement and add our arms. Inhale, arch your spine, look up slightly, and extend both your arms to the side as if you're going to give someone a big hug. Exhale and round your spine as you cross your arms in front of your chest and look down slightly. Let's try this again. Inhale, arch and open your arms. Exhale, round and cross your arms. Continue this motion at your own pace. Remember, as you inhale, you are opening your arms and arching your spine forwards. As you exhale, you are gently rounding your back and crossing your arms. Go at a pace that is comfortable for you. As you continue these movements, bring a curious attention to what you are doing with your body. Where do you feel a stretch? What muscles are working? Just notice what it's like for you. And now, gradually bring the movement to a stop when you are ready and come back to seated mountain pose. Close your eyes if you are comfortable and observe any sensations in your body at this moment. Let's try a posture called boat pose. Come to rest fully against the back of your chair. Now hold on to either the sides of the seat of your chair or the arms of the chair if your chair has arms. Raise both of your feet out in front of you by straightening your legs. Have your legs and feet together. In this position, it can help to tighten your abs slightly by reaching your belly button back towards your spine in order to help hold your legs up. Feel all the muscles that are working that allow you to be in this position. Perhaps you feel a slight burning sensation in your thighs. Now, lower your legs down slowly and rest. When you are ready, come back to boat pose again by holding onto the sides of the chair and raising your legs and feet together out in front of you. As you breathe in, point both of your feet and toes away from you. Breathing out, 
Flex your feet and toes towards you. Breathe in and point. Breathe out and flex. Breathe in and point. Breathe out and flex. Continue this series of motion at your own pace, coordinating your movement with your breathing. And now, let everything go and rest your feet on the floor. Take a deep breath in your nose. Now breathe out and completely relax the muscles in your thighs, calves, ankles, feet, and toes. As you rest here, remember that it is normal for various thoughts and emotions to arise during the practice, some pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. Try experimenting with neither pushing thoughts and emotions away nor grabbing onto them, but instead recognizing them and just letting them be. Doing the best you can to bring an open and non-judgmental attitude towards thoughts and emotions that come up for you, and then gently redirecting your attention back to the sensations in your body as you continue to engage in various stretches and postures. Let's try a posture to stretch our legs. Begin in seated mountain pose and extend your right leg forward so that your right leg is straight and your heels on the ground with your toes pointing up towards the ceiling. As you inhale, slowly raise both of your arms and stretch them towards the ceiling. Feel into the sensations of stretching in your leg, upper body, and your arms. Breathe naturally and hold this position for a few moments. Now, on your next exhale, slowly lower your arms in your lap, but keep your leg extended. When you are ready, we will try a gentle twist with our right leg still stretched out. Bring your left hand to the top of your right thigh and bring your right hand to your right hip. Inhale in place, and as you exhale, gently twist your upper body to the right as you look over your right shoulder. Hold this twist and breathe naturally. Notice how your body feels in this posture. Where is your breath? On your next exhale, slowly come out of the twist and bend your right leg back towards you as you come into seated mountain pose. Take a moment to just rest. Let's try the other side. Extend your left leg forward so that your left leg is straight and your heels on the ground with your toes pointing up towards the ceiling. As you inhale, slowly raise both of your arms and stretch them towards the ceiling. Feeling into the sensations of stretching in your leg, upper body, and arms. Breathing naturally and holding this position for a few moments. Now, on your next exhale, slowly lowering your arms in your lap, but keep your leg extended. We will gently twist to the left with our left leg still stretched out. Bring your right hand to the top of your left thigh and bring your left hand to your left hip. Inhale in place, and as you exhale, gently twist your upper body to the left as you look over your left shoulder. Hold this twist and breathe naturally. Notice how your body feels in this posture. How does this side compare with the other? On your next exhale, slowly come out of the twist and bend your right leg back towards you as you come into seated mountain pose. Take a few deep breaths where you are and just rest.
Let's try some movements to strengthen our abdominal muscles. During these movements, it is important to tighten your abdominal muscles or your belly muscles slightly by reaching your belly button back towards your spine. This tightening of the abs will make the movements easier and protect your lower back. If you experience pain during this exercise, then feel free to skip this one out. It is important to listen to your body. Now, begin in seated mountain pose. Interlace your hands behind your head. Let your elbows come out wide. When you are ready, lift your left leg off the ground as you gently reach your right elbow toward the left knee by twisting your body. Now, come back to seated mountain pose with your hands behind your head as you were before. Remember, there is no need for the elbow to touch the knee. Only go as far as is comfortable for you. Let's try the other side. When you are ready, lift your right leg off the ground as you gently reach your left elbow towards the right knee by twisting your upper body. Come back to seated mountain pose with your hands interlaced behind your head. Continue these crisscross movements at your own pace. Feel free to take a break whenever your body is telling you to do so. Remember, as you lift one leg, you are reaching the opposite elbow towards the knee of that leg. Be sure to breathe as you do these movements. When you are ready, gradually bring these motions to a pause and just rest in seated mountain pose, bringing your arms down. Notice how your body feels at this time. Let's try a gentle forward bend to stretch our backs. Begin in seated mountain pose, but now bring your feet and legs a little closer than hips width apart. Have both of your feet flat on the floor. And when you are ready, slowly hinge forward, bending your upper body forward towards your legs. Allow your arms to hang down in front of you. Only bend as far as is comfortable for you. If it feels okay for you, let your upper body rest against your legs. Breathe naturally here, feeling the stretch in your lower back. When you are ready, slowly come back up to an upright position. Take a moment to just rest in seated mountain pose. Observe how your body feels after doing this forward fold. We will now do a gentle twist. Begin in your seated mountain pose. And when you are ready, cross your right leg over your left leg in a way that is comfortable for you. Now, take your left hand and hold on to your right knee. And take your right hand and hold on to your right hip. First, take a deep inhale, and then as you exhale, gently and slowly twist your upper body to the right and look over your right shoulder. Continue to breathe naturally as you hold this twist. Notice what it's like to breathe while you are in this twist. Where do you feel the breath in your body? And on your next exhale, Slowly come out of the twist and back to seated mountain pose. Take a moment to notice how your back feels after this twist. We will now do the other side. When you are ready, 
cross your left leg over your right leg in a way that is comfortable for you. Now, take your right hand and hold on to your left knee and take your left hand and hold on to your left hip. First, take a deep inhale and then as you exhale, gently and slowly twist your upper body to the left this time and look over your left shoulder. Continue to breathe naturally in this twist. And now on your next exhale, slowly come out of the twist and back to seated mountain pose. Take a moment to observe how you feel overall after doing these twists. This next pose is called Victory Pose. Begin in Seated Mountain Pose. From here, bring your legs and feet away from each other so your legs are more than hips width apart. Have your feet flat on the floor with your toes on each foot pointed outward slightly at a 45 degree angle. Only move your legs out to a degree that is comfortable. You should feel a gentle stretch in your hips. Now, as you breathe in, raise your arms in front of you and up towards the ceiling with your palms facing each other. As you exhale, bring your arms into a T position with your arms bent at a 90 degree angle and your palms facing forward. This is victory pose. Feel yourself tall, strong, and confident in this pose. And when you are ready, Taking five deep breaths in this pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Continue at your own pace until you have done five deep breaths. and gently coming out of the pose and back to seated mountain pose. Notice how you feel overall after doing this victory pose. Stay in mountain pose for a few more moments, sitting up tall, proud, and strong. Take one more deep breath here, in and out. Let's try stretching our upper legs and hips. Begin in seated mountain pose, and when you are ready, cross your right leg over your left leg by placing the outside of your right ankle on top of your left thigh. With your hands, you can hold onto the leg that is bent. When you are ready, inhale in place, and as you exhale, slowly lean your torso forward, keeping your back relatively straight. Lean forward only to a degree that is comfortable for you. Observe where you feel the stretch in your body and noting any sensations that arise in this pose. On each out breath, you can try leaning forward just a little more if that's comfortable. Finding a position for yourself that is challenging but not strenuous. Reaching towards your limits but never beyond them. Relax your shoulders and neck and breathe naturally in this pose. Gradually come out of the pose and return your right leg to the ground. Let's try the other side. Cross your left leg over your right leg by placing the outside of your left ankle on top of your right thigh. With your hand, you can hold onto the leg that is bent. Inhale in place, and as you exhale, slowly lean your torso forward, keeping your back relatively straight. As you did before, finding a position for yourself that is challenging, but not strenuous. Relax your shoulders and neck and breathe naturally.
Let's continue holding the stretch for a few more moments, breathing and feeling into the stretch. And now when you are ready, gradually come out of the pose and return your left leg to the ground. Take a moment to gently shake out both of your legs by moving them quickly side to side in small motions. Do this for a few more seconds. Now pause, closing your eyes if you wish, and feeling into the vibrations and sensations in your legs as you rest in seated mountain pose. Just as we move in this practice, it is also important to stop and be still. So to complete our practice, we will practice being mindful of our breathing. To begin, come to a comfortable sitting posture, resting against the back of your chair. Sitting up straight, but not being stiff. Allowing your shoulders, neck, and facial muscles to relax and soften as best you can. Now, when you are ready, becoming aware of the fact that you are breathing. Noticing the passage of air in and out of your nostrils, and just feeling the breath coming in and out of your body. And now perhaps becoming aware of where sensations of breathing are most present and noticeable for you at this time. Maybe it is in your nostrils or maybe your breath is most noticeable in your chest or in your belly. For now it is best to choose one location to pay attention to rather than moving around. You could choose the area where your breath is most noticeable, or you could just pick an area that feels right for you at this time. So now, after having picked an area to follow your breath, place your full attention in this area and just notice the physical sensations of the breath as best you can. Breath by breath by breath, moment to moment. To moment. In touch with the full duration of the breath as it comes into the body and the full duration as it is leaving your body. Feeling the breath sensations as they change in each moment. Every breath a new opportunity to pay attention, to notice, to be curious and interested about what is going on. Continue to breathe here as we become more intimate and familiar with our own breathing. You may quickly realize that focusing on the breath like this is not so easy and that your mind is already taken off into the past or future many times perhaps, planning, worrying, or daydreaming. Remind yourself that this is normal and completely okay. Each time you notice your mind is no longer focused on the breath, then recognizing what is on your mind in that moment, and then gently letting it go. This does not mean you need to push other thoughts away or shut off your mind. Rather, we could do our best to just acknowledge other thoughts as they arise in an open and non-judgmental way, and then let them be, coming back to our breathing again and again. Perhaps as other thoughts arise, you could try making a quick mental note such as thinking, planning, or worrying. Keeping in mind that it is in the nature of the mind to wander. This is what minds do. If your mind wanders away from the breath, time after time after time, which will surely happen, then just gently and patiently noting what is present at that moment, and then bringing your mind back to your breath again and again and again. So continue now to follow your breathing a little while longer.
And now, when you are ready, letting this brief mindfulness meditation come to a close, opening your eyes if they were closed and coming back to the room you are in. Take a moment here just to notice how you feel overall.